God wants to reach everyone with his wonderful messages of salvation and truth. And sometimes he even uses animals to accomplish his purposes. During one of the evangelistic meetings held in Papua New Guinea in April and May of 2024, the evangelist was preaching on baptism and made an appeal asking those who wanted to be baptized to come to the front. At first, no one moved. There was a reluctance to come forward, and as the seconds ticked by, it began to get awkward. Then a dog appeared out of nowhere. It came forward, walking all the way to the front. Then it sat looking out over the audience. When the people saw the dog respond, they also began to respond. Soon a large crowd was surging forward, responding to the call. God had used a dog to show them the way. A few months later, half a world away in San Francisco, California, another dog was sent on God's errand. Missionaries from the Streams of Light ministry were going door to door, handing out packets containing the great controversy, along with a small booklet on mental health and an invitation to evangelistic meetings. At one home, a couple opened the door, and the missionary began to speak, explaining what was in the gift packet. Stating that they were not interested in the material, the man began shutting the door when their dog bounded through the open door, grabbed the packet from the missionary's hand, and quickly ran back inside with it. <laughs> well, laughed the man, I guess we'll take it. Friends, now is the time to become part of global total member involvement. When you partner with God, you never know what He will do in helping you to reach others for Him. We read in Acts of the Apostles, the Gospel Commission is the great missionary charter of Christ's kingdom. The disciples were to work earnestly for souls, giving to all the invitation of mercy. They were not to wait for the people to come to them. They were to go to the people with their message. The inspired author continues, the disciples were to carry their work forward in Christ's name. Their every word and act was to fasten attention on His name as possessing that vital power by which sinners may be saved. Their faith was to center in Him who is the source of mercy and power. My brothers and sisters, when we give ourselves wholeheartedly to be a part of His mission, we can claim, along with the Apostle Paul, the powerful promise found in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Jesus is coming soon. Be a part of global total member involvement today.